Well, that stunk, but bullpen games are a tough ask, and the only Washington arm that had some difficulty was Jordan Weems, and uh, we took care of him, but everybody else was pretty solid, and that happens in bullpen games, and Spencer Strider in the second inning, um, the wheels kind of fell off. Lead off walk to guess who, Josh Bell. Got two strikeouts after that. A weak um, soft contact devil. Uh, bare hand chipper Jones S play uh, to Riley. He yanked it. Uh, so second and third, two outs. Got ahead of the Ed here, Adrianza. 0 2. Tried a slider. Got it fouled off and then tried another slider. Hanger banger and Ed here. Uh, smoked in the center for a two RBI single and then uh, got got ahead of Victor Robles two strikes a questionable non uh, check swing call didn't go his way and then a meatball fastball two run bomb four nothing um, so I didn't like the pitch election on the sliders to add here Adrianza but he really couldn't find the finisher pitch at all um, after the after the first and third innings, you really could not find that finisher pitch. Um, with two strikes, he got ahead a lot. And just, yeah. The Braves came back nicely in the fourth with a three spot, a single by Dansby, a double by Matt Olson, smoke job, a uh, single by Riley, sack fly by Eddie, and a double by Doovy to make it 4-3. Um, and then... In the fourth, the Nats were able to add on with a single by Garcia, a walk to Yadiel Hernandez, and the same kind of ground ball softly hits O'Reilly. I think he had definitely had a chance to tag third. Thought he had more time than he gave himself, but he was momentum was taking him to first. But I think he made the wrong read there. Uh, got an out, but then Edgar Adrian's RBI ground out got that run right back. Um, and the only other chance uh, the Braves had after um, Dylan Lee had a clean fifth, but in the sixth he gave up a leadoff single to Josh Bell, because of course, and then a soft broken bat Mike Alfranco uh, liner with Bell at second after a productive out ground out, made it 6-3, and then our best chance um, was in the seventh after... Uh, a Cano reached on a error by Edgar Adrianza should have been on Josh Bell with one out uh, on a missed catch and then Michael Harris smoked a single up the middle a Danzy Swanson eagle eye walk after Ronald popped out to Victor Robles a near collision there a uh, great eagle eye walk by Dansby taking some close pitches and Matt Olsen really had a great at bat as well um, but Carl Edwards was able to clutch up and throw some nasty curveballs and got him on a soft grounder back to, back to the pitcher and nothing we could do after that. A leadoff walk to Austin Riley in the eighth, but we couldn't do anything. Um, the Nats bullpen had our number today and the fifth inning, um, Ronald got hit by a pitch and Matt Olson got, uh, called out on one of the worst strikes. Strike three calls I've ever seen. Angel Hernandez style. But, uh, nothing we could do. It was like eight or nine inches off the plate, so it would have been first and second two outs for Austin Riley in a one-run ball game. Who knows what would have happened there, so you kind of knew after that it wasn't going to be our day. Uh, but Spencer just, uh, in that second inning kind of, uh, fell apart on him. Defense not great, but that was a really tough play for Riley, and it just it just didn't work. But still a really amazing first half. Most wins at the All-Star break since 2003. Um, we shaved at least uh, seven games off the New York Mets lead. You can't be sad about that. Uh, just not our day today. As always, go Braves champions forever. Enjoy your All-Star break. I'll see you guys on Friday.